I have a panel with nothing on it. So let's put something on it. I put you up on a paper towel so that you can see me, but I really want to show you what's down here. So hopefully it doesn't tip over. It might. Oh, yeah, it might. Oh, look at that. I know. Oh, part. Don't fall over. Okay. This is what I have. Okay, so over here, I have a bunch of pieces of yuppo paper that I have hand painted several different pieces. And that's, these are my scraps. And I'm, I'm making collage with it. And so I have, this is super heavy, no, gloss, super heavy gel, gel medium from Liquitex. Then I have the GAC, GAC 100 from Golden. I have already treated this with the GAC. I'm a liar, I actually haven't yet, but <laughs> I'm gonna do it right now. So I'm just gonna take a bit of it and then my brush and I am going to spread it out. It preps the wood. I um, I heard this uh, through the grapevine. I was watching a YouTube video by Miss Jane Monteith from on Instagram. She's Jane Loves Design. I want to say, yeah, I think it's Jane Loves Design. And I followed her step-by-step -step tutorial on a couple, like really I've watched all of them. Um, and so this is what she said. Now we didn't have this in my town, so I had to go to Calgary, which is not too far, about two hours. We go there every once in a while. So um, you would let this dry. Um, for the sake of television, I'm not gonna. All right, because we're gonna play around here anyway, so this will have time to dry. Then, what I'm, you know, I, I really, I posed this question to some people. I never really ever got a straight answer. Do you put a piece of white paper down and then glue all these papers down? It feels like waste to me. I'm like, why would you put a white piece of yellow paper down just to then go and stick a piece of paper on it. I don't know. Um, so I'm not gonna do that. Let's read the back of this. 100% acrylic, fluid, multi-purpose medium, useful for the extend for extending acrylic paint. Two coats applied directly to painting surface helps protect against support-induced discoloration, SID, and oil penetration. Use alone or blend with acrylic mediums, colors, and water. Do not use as a varnish. Always test your application, for your application. So they're just saying, figure it out on your own. There are currently no known hazards associated with anticipated use. Most chemicals are not fully tested for chronic toxicity. To ensure safety, avoid ingestion, blah, 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 blah. So, it's a bit down. I'm not gonna worry about it. I wanna show you what I'm gonna do. So, I have all of these little pieces of paper. You know, I'm gonna go with the bigger pieces first. So, I'm just laying it out first. I don't know what is gonna what it's gonna end up like. Um, I'm kind of, like this. I'm like, okay. Oh, that's really pretty. There's like this greeny, mm, this greeny yummy in there. And okay, the bigger pieces I feel like are the ones that go on first. And I did another one. It was green. It was really pretty. I'll probably, um, I'll probably post a picture of that at some point. There's a the button. Oh no, I'm not a good Buddhist. Okay. I'm trying to be funny, I'm not. I know I'm not. So you wanna have balance, you wanna, I mean, this is just like in my gut, I'm just gonna go, this goes here. Um, I look for symmetry and hope that I get it. I kinda stand back and go, mm, yeah, 
yeah, I like that. Ooh, ooh, that sucks. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna just keep going with this. You could hit the double tap on the side and then you could fast forward through me yammering on about nothing important. Although you might fast forward and miss some real genius. You might. No promises though. Okay, so I got the purple and the blue and the magenta going on here. And mm, what I like to do is take, a, I will lay everything out and then I like to take a picture of it. I like click a picture of it and then I tip it all off and then I glue it down. If you do something different, I'm curious because the, these little pieces of paper are kind of hard to manage. Like they flop around. Oh, and there's, I need a yellow one in there, I think. Let's put a skinny, let's put a skinny yellow one in there. Yep. Um, there's no rules to collage that I apply, I don't know. I don't listen to any rules about collage. Maybe you are a avid rule follower and you're like, oh no sister, there's a lot of freaking rules and if you had gone to art school, you would know that. But I stopped going to art school in grade 12. So I could be wrong. I probably am wrong. But nowadays, it's like whatever you want to do, that's what you do as far as I feel like that's how the world has turned. This is how the world is turning nowadays. Oh, that one has a bit. See, I, oh, off camera, this little number, this is a Fiskars um, slicer cutting thing. I don't know. Is it a slicer? Is it a cutting thing? Mm, I don't know what it's called. Blade. It's a blade. It's a slicing blade for paper. So I brought it up because when I'm laying all this out, I may want pieces to be thinner and I want them to be, I want these ones in particular to be really like straight lines. In the future and some future ones, I might do like angles. I might do like points where it's thicker at one end and tapered down. I don't know, but today, I want them all to be exact so I can just line them up and glue them down. Now that needs to go in there. Oh, that one's pretty. It's got lots of gold in it. Let's go with that Then that. Let's do, oh, we need more yellow here. So we got lots of yellow on the other side, but I can do some, well, Let's put that guy there, right next to the blue guy, then the purple guy, then the blue guy, then the purple guy. Let's see how much, oh, we need some more. We need like one more. So I'm gonna put this here, this here, and then this guy here, there. Okay. Um, Awesome. I think this is one thing I, I like a bigger piece to go on the end, but I don't want the blue to be on one end and then the other end. So I'm gonna shift this around. I'm gonna put the purple one first, then the orange, because orange is the antithesis of purple. For you arty people out there that went to school, you'll know that I'm wrong in saying it's antithesis. It's not the, well, it's the opposite. It's like, mm, I don't know those words. It's like on the color wheel. And also just to stop talking about what I was talking about. If you mix purple and orange, you will get brown. It's gross. It's not pretty. You can't get it good. You can't get purple and, and and purple and orange are just, it's mud. It's so muddy and gross. 
Um, so I'm gonna plunk that guy there. Um, so it's not, you know, this is not a lesson on, on art like in school. I'm not here to teach you color theory is what I'm trying to say. And I'm not here to tell you what's right or wrong. I am just sticking down some color pieces. And then you can tell me in my comments what an idiot I am or what I know or what I don't know. I am not here to take on the internet. So you can just take that or leave it. Okay, so actually this is kind of pretty, but I think that, ooh, I think that I want to make sure, like what I'm gonna do, I'm not much of a, I'm not very good at articulating today. I wanna put, hmm, I'm gonna put some skinny pieces in here, but I think that that is like what comes, that comes later. So I'm gonna take these skinny, skinny, skinny ones off. And then these are, I'm just going to glue this down like this. And I'm trying to be intuitive about it. Like I'm not worried about, I'm not going to fuss about about it. Like I could really overanalyze like, should I have the red one next to the blue one? Or should I have the orange one next to the purple one? I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to look at this just from afar. I'm just going to go... I need more yellow down there. Like this needs to be yellow or, or, you know, just in a, take a mental note and go, oh yeah, I have to remember I need to put that yellow up there or else it's just not going to look right. You got to have so many pieces of yellow balanced with so many. And then also you could, you could take a, a picture of this and make it gray like grayscale, and then you could look at it light versus dark to see how the contrast is. You go, oh, it's too much dark on this side, not enough, like you need to break that up with some light pieces. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pause this and then post it, the gluing down aspect of it. Actually, I'm not gonna pause it. I'm just gonna go for it, but I'm just gonna show you. Um, I'm just gonna scooch all of these up a just a, just a hair. I'm gonna move these off to the side because I know that they're next. And I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna glue this down. I don't know, maybe that's just really duh, like anybody can glue anything down, but whatever. Um, I'm gonna take this heavy body, or heavy body, this like heavy, this medium, this gel medium. And I'm gonna take just a small brush and I'm gonna paint the back of this blue piece. Uh, I, if I was gonna, like when I do the ones that are on top, I may actually use a glue stick, but the gel, I mean, this says right on the back, I didn't read you the back of this one, but it's excellent for um, decoupaging or collaging. Hey, did anybody else notice that, and maybe I'm stupid, tell me if I'm stupid, but isn't collage and college spelled exactly the same? Let's see what they, yeah, like collage or college, college. I, <laughs> this heavy body gel medium, it's, I mean, I read the back of this one, so let's read the back of this one. Extra body, extra heavy body consistency produces a brilliant gloss in Pazzo color with an oil-like drag. Mm -hmm. Retains high peaks and crisp brush and knife strokes, which I really like. Um, extends paint volume while increasing transparency. Um, slows drying time and enhances blending. Mix with any acrylic color, can thin by up to 25% with water, so you can dilute it if you want to use this only for that. I wouldn't do it in here, I would put it in another container, add a little bit of water, and then that can be your decoupaging medium. 
Um, and then do not mix this with oil paint or oils and for structural applications. So if you like to do um, sculpting, like paper sculpting or whatever, um, ideal for thick glazes and brilliant gloss impasto effects. First of all, I've never heard that word. Second of all, I'm going blind. My glasses, I need new prescriptions so I can't read it. Excellent binder for pigments and adhesive and additives such as sand, sawdust, stone, etc. And the very last one, collage adhesive or college adhesive. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. So that's why I'm using this. Okay, I just glued one down. I glued it down. Now I would take paper towel. I don't have a paper towel because your camera, my camera is sitting on the paper towel. So I'm just gonna put that, in. I'm just gonna give it a rub. And it's just to make sure that if there's any adhesive, too much adhesive, it'll squoosh it and get the air bubbles out of it. I'm gonna finish this and post, I'm just gonna post this to, to YouTube right now. I don't know, you guys might like it. Give it a thumbs up if it was helpful. If it's stupid, give it a thumbs down, I don't care. Then subscribe if you want to watch more. And if not, don't come back. It's fine. I don't care. Um, also, you can find me on Instagram at JD's Creative. And I post lots of stuff there. So go find me. Have a great day. I'll finish this up. And then maybe I'll do a, I'll do a, res, I'll do a resin video where I show how I resin all of this up. Okay? See ya.